Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to teach you three different methods to create slideshows in Wix Studio. So the first method includes the slideshow repeater in which you will have same uh, layout for each slide but with different elements, different assets. In the second method, you will have different layout and different items. And in the third method, we will have the most advanced slideshow. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, you have to add a multi-state box in the Wix Studio. Now, when you have the default uh, editor and you go to the layout tool, you won't see the multi-state boxes here. And that's because uh, the multi-state boxes only appears in the developer mode. So you have to go here in the code section and click on start coding. And this will open up the developer mode. Okay, now you have the uh, coding environment in the Wix Studio editor. And if you go now to the layout section, you can see that we now have multi state boxes here as well. Apart from that, we also have various input elements here. So let's go to the uh, layout tools and add multi state boxes. Now we will use this box to create slideshow in Wix Studio. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on the design because the goal here is to just show you how to create the slideshow. So there's no need to, you know, make the video long for no reason. Let's add an image. Okay, so this is the first box that we have. Uh, let's add a title as well. Let's uh, say that this is a landing page for a game. Let's call it Call of Duty. and add a section or a button, let's add a button. Okay, so this is just an example. Uh, you can design this uh, box however you want. Now, a good idea here would be to uh, stack all of these elements together, all the text together, so that it uh, does not disrupt the responsive behavior. So just uh, select an element, hold shift, and you can select uh, all the element here and click on stack. Okay, uh, one more thing I will do here is set this to middle like this and one more uh, cool thing about stack is that you can easily align the elements together so I can easily you know place the elements in the middle or anywhere I want okay so let's uh, treat this as one box after that you have to select the multi-state boxes go to the layers and select the box too. Okay, when you select uh, the box, it will be uh, in the front of the viewport so that you can edit that. 
uh, let's add one more image Let's add a text here. Let's just copy this from the uh, first box. So copy this, control C, go back to box two and control V. Okay, um, now let's say you wanna add more slides to this slideshow. In that case, you have to select the uh, multi-state box first. Let's close this. Okay, so you have to select the multi-state box and click on manage states. Now here you can either duplicate uh, any of the boxes or you can create a new box. So I'm gonna just duplicate this one for now and just change the image. Okay, now let's convert this uh, multi-state box into a slideshow. And to do that, you have to add a simple code in the Wix Studio. So I will give the code in the description. You can just copy that, go to your page, open this uh, coding environment, and paste the code here. Now you have to change two things here. First is the uh, element ID of the boxes, and second is the time between the transition. Both of them are really easy. So to change the uh, ID, you have to go to the layer section and switch on this option display ID and it will show you the ID of each uh, element. Now we have the box seven, box two and box three. Just replace that with these three numbers, the variable states. So go here and write box three, go here and write box two and change this one. To box 7 right and uh, let's see what it looks like in the live website this looks really good the first uh, slide now after the set transition time the slide will automatically change okay so you can each uh, slide will have its own design its own elements and you can add as many slides as you want. Now, the thing is that these uh, changes are too abrupt, like it changes all of a sudden. So we want to add some smooth transition in it. And that's where this uh, multi-state box is really good. Uh, you can add any sort of animation in this entire section. So let's say um, I want to make this uh, slide fade. I can go to the animation and add a fade entrance like this. And I can do the same with these two. So let's add a reveal. And in box three, let's add a glide. Okay, so you can add whatever you want. And not just in this, but also in all the elements. If you want to add CSS, you can add CSS. If you want to add like entrance for this section, let's add it for the text. Uh, let's add like this or this. Let's go to the box three. 
sorry, box two. And let's add a slide. Okay, um, let's publish it. Uh, one more thing here, you can change the transition time right here in the code. So let's say I want to change the transition time. I can just put the value here. Instead of 8,000, let's put 6,000. Uh, let's publish the website and see what it looks like in the live setting. Okay, so now we have the animation like this. All right, so this is how you can create the multi-state box uh, slideshows. Um, you can add different animations, different images, whatever you want, and the slides will change automatically. So this was the first method. The second method is using the Flexbox. So for that, you have to go to Layout Tools and Flexboxes and add a Flexbox right here. Stretch it like this. Go to the design and in the display type change it to slides all right now we have a slideshow here uh, let's add images once again Now, when you are using the Flexbox as a, a slideshow, when you are editing the boxes, you have to, uh, you can actually uh, edit them by going uh, outside the viewport as well, but that's not the ideal situation. So what I prefer is just bring the box on top of the other. So what I'm gonna do here is just pick this up and bring it in the viewport. Now you can add elements, whatever you want. Uh, the Flexbox also uh, can have different layout and different elements, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to add the images for now. Uh, go back to layers, close it, and bring the box line on top. Now you can edit this as well. Remember, you can add all the designs, all the animations in these uh, boxes. And finally, we have the box set. Okay, now we have uh, all the four boxes. If you want to add more slides, uh, simply select the layer and add as many slides as you want. So we have the add item option here. So if you add it, you will have a new slide. Okay, so this box 13 is the new slide. You can also delete them uh, from the editor or from the layer section. Okay, now we have added the slides, but there is no navigation. So we have to add either button, text, or a vector image. And doing that is really easy. First of all, you can hide the scroll bar, which is right here. So turn it off and add a navigation. So you can either add an arrow, buttons, or text. So let's go with arrows and you will see that it will add two arrows on the left and the right side. So let's change the color of these arrows. You 
you can also change the shape of these uh, vectors so just change the basic shape and uh, use whatever you want all right let's publish it and see what it looks like on the live fifth side okay so now we have a slider and we have this button and you can use this like it okay um, you can also add like CSS codes to this and uh, make it like change the, the transition with time but it's not as smooth as the uh, multi-state boxes so if you want to add navigation the flex box is the best option all right so this was the second method now let's uh, look at the third method which is to add the slideshow repeater very easy way um, go to layout tools go to slideshow repeaters there are pre-made designs here you can use any of the designs just add them and you have your slideshow now the thing about this one is that you will have the same layout in every slide but with different elements Okay, so you can have different images, different tags, different buttons, uh, sorry, names, and you can also uh, connect them with the data set. However, the design will be always the same because this is a repeater. All right, so just replace the elements, and if you want to add something, just um, add one more slide. It's very easy. So select the slideshow. All right, you have different images, different, uh, you know, text and everything. So just change them for however you want. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, add the repeater and replace the item thing. Very easy to do. Um, apart from that, we also have a few apps that you can use. So I believe there should be slider or slideshow apps. Yeah, here it is impressive slideshow gallery and different uh, things however i will not recommend it because they are not good for the performance and the seo of the website and you can pretty much do anything using these three methods so yeah that's how you create the uh, slideshow in uh, wix studio i hope you learned something thanks for watching